Well, hey guys, this is Infinite Flash here, and today we'll be playing another series of games in Suicide Chess, or as uh, Lee Chess refers it as uh, Anti Chess. Um, the first time I played Anti Chess, I think it was back in high school. Um, I learned it from a few friends, and I think, in, on in all honesty, um, it's a marvelous game to play. I wonder, e3, let's try a6, and I'm going to take with my rook, and then I'm going to sack my rook. This is going to be nice. And then he's going to play a4, rook takes a4, rook takes a4, knight a6. Mm, maybe not knight a6. Ah, well, okay, rook takes, b takes. Queenie, I don't know, maybe knight c3, that, that's tough. He's going to play a4 here. And yeah, I wonder about that. That looks like a very curious opening. He has to take that. Okay, no matter what he do, what, what I do, he's gonna sack it, isn't he? Okay, let's give away one pawn before that happens. Okay. Shoot. Okay, he can either take the king or the knight here. I'm not really sure what I want him to do. Very, very unclear stuff is going to be happening here. Very clear, unclear stuff. Yeah, uh, okay, I have to take that. Rook a4, but um, that's not clear to me. Really, it's not really clear to me at all. Yeah, rook a4, and sure, my queen gets to take a few pawns, but this is not too much of a concern. I'll be able to sacrifice my queen at some point, and that's not a big issue in my opinion. There we go. We're going to be we're going to be able to sacrifice our queen for something over here, and the resulting position is honestly bizarre, and I don't really understand it all too well. Um, I don't think really anybody does. Now he can probably get away with knight d5, but maybe I yeah maybe I just take here. Maybe takes here. Maybe I can just take with um, the knight. I'm not really so sure about this position. Maybe I should go e5, and after knight takes c7, yeah, yeah, yeah that one. Queen takes f2. Yeah. Not really sure about that. It's probably not good for us. Okay, so if I take the knight, probably a better decision. Bishop takes. Eh, might as well take with the knight. Might as well do that. And I can go uh, knight f5 here and then just go to knight e3 no matter what he does next turn. It's probably a better decision, I think. So he has to take this no matter what. I don't know what he's thinking about. But um so I'm gonna play knight f five and go to e three no matter what he does next move. It's gonna be really an okay position, I think. Um also I can sacrifice on h three, but I'm I'm not so sure about that position. Maybe I can do it for it without much um uh of a liability there. The one thing I really want to do is get rid of um my rook here. That's a really bad piece. That's just a terrible piece actually. So let's see what we can do. Knight f5, and we're going to play knight e3 next move, and see what we can do. That's going to be, I think, an okay position, if you ask me. Yeah, if this pawn was on f3, then this position doesn't make any sense, because... Um, he's not going to take on d6, I think. He's not going to do that. There's no way. You'd be crazy to 
take on d6 and allow bishop takes d6, f takes e3, bishop takes h2. That's just not good for him. Um, okay, I'm not really sure why he allowed that. If I go rook here, king there, yeah, he probably wins there. So, therefore, knight d7. Okay, he can't go to f3 now because of knight e5. And he can go to e2, though. Yeah, that, that's, that's really, really tough stuff. Tough business there. I probably can go to rook here, and I won't get attacked, I think. Yeah, that looks like rook a3 is going to be a good position for us. I think that's a very fine position for us to play. Um, looks very promising, to be honest. He can't stop rook a3, and he's in a little bit of trouble. Um, I don't think I've introduced my opponent here. Uh, that's His name is Neri Will... What? Fwithwa? Flo? Ho? Philo? I don't know how to pronounce that. What in the world? Um, but in, in any case, uh, he's not going to stop rook a3. Okay. Um, okay, let's play knight c5. Play c6. Yeah, if he can't move this knight at all, it's very problem. Oh, maybe he can play knight c3. Huh. That might be a problem for us, I think. Huh. That might be a problem. Knight c3. Hmm. Yeah, my idea was uh, rook b here and just let him have this pass pawn. But it's not looking that great, to be honest. And I, I really wanted to get rid of this pawn, and I don't think I'm going to be able to. Probably. Okay, let's let him have the pass pawn for now. I'm just going to let him take that. And let him figure out what to do. Uh, the more pieces, the better, I think. Bughouse, that's a usually good policy to... Hold to maybe c5 first. I don't know. Maybe it can promote to a king, and then this position gets absolutely crazy. I don't really know what's going on. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm playing a shorter time control, not five eight like last time, guys. Um, that's that was a bit crazy. If we go f5 and then f4. How is he stopping that? Probably he can't. Yeah, I don't think he can. I think he has to play e4, f takes e4, knight takes... Oh, he could do that. Oh, no. I totally misjudged that. I forgot he could go knight e4. Dang it. Now he can he can do whatever he wants. Oh, no. What is going on in this position? That's absolutely crazy. Uh, Okay, I mean, I don't have to promote, though. Hmm. Do I want to promote, though? <laughs> Um, okay, if I promote to a bishop, it's probably good for us. I, oh god, wait, if I promote to a knight, ah, if I promote to a king, that gets crazy too. What in the world? Uh, the problem is if he promotes first, I think he wins. Okay, bishop, h4. Okay, let's promote to a bishop. That's probably a safe piece. I don't really know what to say. He can play h4. I really don't care. Um, not sure why he wouldn't play h4 right now, but okay. Uh, what is going on here?
Right, we can go for another pawn race, maybe. That's that's terribly crazy. Okay. Now let's go for that. Just gotta take that. And we'll go for a pawn race, I think. And yeah, you know, what's the key? Uh, the key is what is he? What do we promote to? Maybe he promotes to a knight. That would be crazy. Ah, but if I have a knight, if he has a knight, there's no way he's gonna survive that. I just have to move my queen around a lot. Yeah, the queen is really the best piece in this case. Uh, quite a interesting um, queen sacrifice. It's gonna be coming on the board. I don't think this is looking that good for him. Um. Oh wow! I didn't think he, he could make that move, but um, I think he's lost this way. So, well played. Very interesting game. Queen d8 is the key. What a crazy game. What a crazy game. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I didn't understand what was going on there, guys. Um, not sure if you did either. Not sure if the recording was going on there. Yeah, it is. Okay. Definitely not Knight of Three like our adventure last time. Yeah, he was like, eh. yeah, that was what a crazy game, obviously. Um, okay. Queen H5, Queen there is. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really know what to do that game. I felt like, um, he has to take with the knight here on a d7. I think that would be a safe square. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot he had this option. Okay. Yeah. Sorry guys, I had to respond to another person uh, uh, talking to me at the moment. I'm gonna have to pause the recording and lose a little bit of time. I'll be back in just a second. Yeah guys, I just had to respond to uh, a friend here. Um, okay, we, our plan was knight h3, and no matter what he, which way he was taking, he was he's running into a little bit of trouble here in my mind. Um, he's not in the best shape here, but okay, he, I, I'm able to sacrifice a few pieces more than he ends, and um, we'll see what happens. Perhaps he's going to get some compensation this way. Um, yeah, so he's gonna take. I have to abandon my rook post here. Rook G7. Let's see. Rook G1. I could go Rook G. Uh, maybe I can. Rook G1. Rook H2. Rook G7. Rook F2. Rook F7. Now that's terribly complicated, of course. Um, okay, I see a possibly one good way to proceed. Um, this is with a unique way with rook f1 and just rook h1. And yeah, that's not looking that good for him. Oh, he could take there. Oh, no. Oh, oh I completely missed that move. Oh no. Uh, sorry about that guys, I just had to take another 
take out another favor again. I'm going to have to maybe pause it again again. <laughs> Sorry about that. And once again, uh, another thing I had to take care of there. Um, so let's take up the king, of course. I'm in really down in time right now. Um, hopefully this guy doesn't think I'm you know, using an engine of any kind, but um, I'm just trying to make decent moves here. Um, <sighs> okay, if I go king e2, or king wait, king d3 might be the most accurate move. I can go bishop h6 no matter what next turn. Yeah, maybe that's one way to get rid of the piece. And yeah, I wouldn't mind trading up my bishop for his knight. Um, I think the bishop is... Mm, they're about the same in this game. Suicide. I just know that the rook is the worst piece, and the bishop and knight are probably the next best pieces. The king is a tricky piece in itself, but the queen, luckily, is probably the best piece since you're able to get rid of it fastest. Um, okay, bishop h6 is happening. Yeah. I'm not sure why we want e5, though. King uh, d4 looks somewhat problematic. So no matter so no matter what I do, he's gonna play d3 or d takes there next turn. So eh, it's not the best thing in the world. Okay. If I take with the knight, there's no way at least I can be killed fast enough there. So he has to take my pawn here. I'm not I'm not sure why he's stalling, but um, you know, I mean, I'm just going to have to play knight takes c3 next move. Um, hmm. Very tricky stuff. I mean, my rooks are just awful here. I think black has an advantage at least. I mean, by far, a big advantage probably. He's um, up a significant amount of material here. The king is notoriously a very difficult piece to play against, uh, in my experience, so. Um, definitely black is much better here. I, I just don't know how much it is, but um, hopefully we can work with it. I think rook g1 is a good move to toss one rook away. I think that's one way I can try to throw a rook here. Okay, I think knight b5 is a good move here. Because now I can attack these both pawns that are defended, and um, he has to defend them somehow. I got really lucky there, I think. Um, if he plays knight d7, I think this is the most exact move in the position. Um, I'm in very big trouble. Maybe I have to go rook g1, and, you know, it, it's not really clear. The position's not really clear in my mind at all. Um, I play rook g6 or rook g5 next move, and probably rook g5 is happening, and very unclear kind of, kinds of positions happen there as well. Hmm. So, yeah, this was forced. Um... Yeah, and I think we can go here. See, knight before a takes b, rook takes here, rook takes c takes rook here, rook there, here. Uh, I'm not sure about that actually. Maybe rook g5, h4, h4. Maybe this kind of stuff is doing the home run for me. Not really sure about that entire sequence, to be honest. Even then, it's not so clear if I'm um, in good shape. Now I think I'm a little bit better, because I'm tossing away this rook on the g5 square, most importantly. He can't really do anything about it. Uh, knight b4 looks like the obvious move. a takes b. Rook takes b2. And now that's not very clear at all, in my opinion. Very, very unclear stuff. The rook against the king endgame is... Very complicated, to say the least. Maybe black is better, maybe white is better. I cannot tell there. And besides, I mean, black better as in the sense it's easier to play better. Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Um, so let's see, you can take that rook. <coughs> and um, let's see what we can make happen here. Huh. 
Huh. So let's see, h4 takes, I'm thinking f3, or f4, maybe f4 is better. No, why not f4? Followed by... I don't know what's going on actually. Yeah. Oh no, you can't leave the rook there, dude. Uh I don't think that's a good move. Although, you know, that's not clear at all, is it? Yeah, he's gonna play rook b1 next move anyway. That's a great that's a great mm -hmm. concept. Hmm, that's not easy at all, is it? And now, okay, I mean, I have to move here. You can have that. Okay. Well, he's going to be able to get toss away all three of these pieces, but I'm not sure about the uh, resulting end game. Um, king d8, b6 here, king c8, a7 here, takes, takes. Maybe come up to a rook, I don't know. Um, very, very crucial that, uh, he, he he cannot. I don't think he can give away the king on the b8 square because I'm promoting into a rook and tossing that one away. Even then, that end game is very tricky. Of course, um, I have no idea what's going on. So, I'll just promote to a bishop. I don't think I'm going to die if I do that. Yeah, I can just stay on the h1 square, and I don't think I'm going to lose if I do that. Okay. All right, let's stay there and just mark time. He can't promote to a bishop if he goes there. That's the good news. What is he going to promote to? This is going to be an extraordinary endgame, isn't it? Ah, maybe a draw. It's probably going to end in a draw if he promotes to a bishop. Um... Although he has more pawns than me. Oh wait, shoot. I should have played bishop c6 maybe. I don't know if that would have changed anything. I don't know, queen b7 is like, if you have more time on your hands then this position may be a win for black. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything here. Uh... Yeah, that, that's a win for white, unfortunately for him. Very tricky stuff. And I'd stalemate next move. Oh wait, it's not stalemate. Uh, it might be a draw. I take that back, guys. I didn't want to appear cocky there. I just thought, uh, I just thought, uh, yeah, I'm gonna win that actually. Dang it. Sorry for that guy there. Yeah, another crazy day. Another crazy game. Very enjoyable. Um, I'm not sure if I want to play another game. Very, very stuff. Uh, let's see, we're at 23 minutes. Um, let's add this guy as a friend. I would, yeah, maybe I can find it. Can you add friends here? Or do you to just follow them? Nice. He's a cool guy, probably. Wonder if we can add them. That'd be awesome if we could, right? Doesn't wouldn't that be nice if we could add them? Um. Okay. For now, we'll just follow him, and I don't know. Maybe we. Oh, that is. I didn't mean that for that to happen. Um. Okay. Those are just records of these games. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't know how to add him as a friend at the moment, but um. Maybe we can um, accept his rematch. Okay, we'll play one more versus him. Um, that's extremely tricky. Uh, let's just turn back last game for me, man. And uh, let's see what happens here. I don't think knight a6 is a good move. I don't know, I like this a6 move. That, that was tricky stuff. Uh, 
Um, well, I'm uh, in the US. And what is going on here? I think I could take A2. Oh, yeah, that's right. We played this variation last game. That was tricky stuff. Uh, roughly 20. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, it's 30. Okay. Uh, well, it's nice to see that even older people play chess these, game, these days. Mostly kids play now. It's not just an old man's game uh, these days, I think. Uh, I've been looking at the analytics on my uh, page these days, and uh, uh, quite a significant number of... Uh, oh, rook a6. Wow. That is a terribly good move, isn't it? See, b4, takes, takes, takes. God, that is terrible for us. I can't go with the bishop. I think I lose automatically. Um, knight is probably better. So b4 is coming. I think he's going to kill me this game. Man, what a great move. Rook a6. Damn. Yeah, I mean, he's just waiting to kill me. Like, I don't have a choice. At least I get to take all the pieces. Now well, that's the good news. I don't know what he's doing about the F3 square. I'm taking that finally and getting out of this mess. That's just terrible for me. Oh wait, knight h3, what a brilliant move here. He finds that knight h3, knight takes f3, g takes f3. That is terrible for us. Oh. Huh. Oh, he should have found that. Oh, I got really lucky there. Man, I, I mean, that, that, that was terrible for us, I think, guys. Okay, um, let's just toss this. Yeah, that's terribly complicated, I think. Terribly, terribly, terribly complicated. Um, I don't like that position really for me. Okay, maybe we're getting out of it though. He's gonna take here on h7. I get to take the h3 pawn next turn, no matter what he does, and then I'll have e3 and h2 attacked, which were both defended by the bishop and the rook. So he's gonna have to take that then, and then I have to figure out my position from there. Um, that's not very clear though, of course. I think white's doing excellently here. I never got rid of my queen, and that's just a bad thing for me. I think I'm may maybe lost really here. Um, that's not looking good for us. Uh, you can get rid of all that, but um, uh, he's probably going to win that. That's that's just a terrible position for us. Dang it. Yeah. Oh, wait. Right, take h2. Uh... Yeah, that's not good for us, is it? Um, rook d2? Okay, I don't see another playable move. I mean, everything looks just bad for us. And, okay, if he takes on e7 at some point. I mean, okay, whatever. I mean, bishop takes or whatever. I mean, if he takes bishop takes, I think that's the winning move. That's kind of surprising that that move is okay for him. So queen takes, bishop takes, queen takes e3, bishop takes e3. And he goes bishop h6 next move. It's probably not good for us. Rook takes d3, rook takes c7. Rook takes e3. Bishop takes e3, queen takes c7, he wins. Okay. Um, oh, knight takes or bishop takes, it's unclear stuff. Probably knight. My knight's terrible.
Okay, let's get the queen out of the firing range here. I need this on a good square. D7 looks like a promising square here. Um, that just feels right. Okay, very complicated stuff regardless. I'm not sure about that position. That position is terribly complicated. There's 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 lines like um, c5 bishop takes c5 d takes c5 uh, where even though I'm up I'm like down a huge amount of material with the queen bishop and uh, knight this could still be a win for me. C5 bishop takes d takes e4 queen d3 e5 um, queen d6. Wait, did I count? Did I do that calculation properly? No, I still have a passed pawn. I have no idea what's going on there. Maybe I'm good, maybe I'm not good. C5, bishop takes, d takes, d4. Oh, I'm just lost there. Okay, never mind. I can't, that move's not playable at all. Um, d5, bishop takes, bishop takes, d4. Bishop C D five Bishop takes Queen nah Bishop takes E four takes takes Queen here takes that's probably good for us. Okay, let's go for a Oh, where? Oh, it must have been the knight f3 move. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think you had. You were rushing me earlier. For sure, man. Yeah, d4, bishop c5. That. Mm, not really clear at all because I can just waste moves and mark time with my queen I think so d4 bishop c5 d takes d4 ah oh, no it's a win for white there okay that's a win for white ah okay so d4 bishop c5 Now there's got to be a right good square for this. Queen h3, e4, takes d5, c6, takes queen to d7. I think that might be a win. I, I don't understand chess at all. Very weird. Yeah, so it takes d5. C oh, I have a pass pawn in there. Oh, shucks. Shucks. Okay. Um, okay, if I go queen there, no, no, probably have to push. Okay, I'll explain why in the post game. I think here, bishop d8 is the best continuation. He should promote to a knight here. 
That's a terribly complicated position. The knight there, and like I have to avoid all the squares with the queen here. That's not a good position for me, is it? And I'm just hoping that I don't take the knight. I think the knight is by far the best piece here. Ah, uh, he wins. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, he GG. I think the rook was a win. GG. Yeah, he was. He's GG. I mean that that was really well played. You played. Uh, I think. Um, okay, here I'm lost though. I I don't have a doubt there. That's. Rook a6 was strong to OP. Yeah, I mean that that was that was uh, ridiculously strong. Okay, a6 is gonna go out the window. Sorry. Um, we'll uh, hopefully play against this guy sometime in the future, but. Nah, man, I gotta go. Alright, guys, I have to go. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate that. Hopefully we'll play against this guy. He seems like a very decent, uh, if not really good player, in my opinion, uh, for suicide. Um, I'm not sure why he's rating this so low. Maybe he's just playing a few games occasionally and, um, you know, messed up or something. And uh, we'll play against him sometimes. So, see you around, guys.